Hello there, I'm the optometrist who's here to do your annual ocular examination. So I'm going to use just this space here to set up some equipment and then we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is check your distance vision as you're there. So let me just find an area to hang the vision chart. Okay, cover your left eye with the palm of your hand. Have a look at the chart and read down as far as you can for me. Okay, just cover the other eye with the palm. Read down to as low as you can, please. Just go backwards now. Good, so we're down to the bottom, lovely. Okay, I'm going to get you to look at a target on the chart. I'm going to look at the Letter I there, keep looking at the eye, I'm going to do a cover test. Okay, I want you to look at the tip of the pen. Cover test it in here. Very good. It's going to be writing the results now. Okay, let's have a little look at your eye movements. We need to look at the target here. Just follow where the target moves, please. Okay, is there any double vision there at all? Okay, follow just with the eyes. Just report any eye discomfort. Or if you see two of the target, please. Just follow the tip of the pen this time, just a little closer. Great. Okay, looking back at the letter there, just check pupils of the light. Look anywhere in the distance now. I'm just going to check the size of the pupils. Keep looking at the eye in the distance. 
Now looking at the tip of the pen, back to the letter A, to the tip of the pen, back to the A, and back to the tip of the pen again, please. So that's the pupils completed. And it looks fine there, I'll record the results. some eye measurements. Now these will come in useful a little bit later if we have to select some new spectacles for your distance or reading. Okay, just look dead straight for me please. Pick a point and look straight. Okay, that's pupillary distance of 66 millimetres. Looking straight again. Dead ahead. That's the vertical aperture there. And for the other eye. It's about 11 millimetres. Okay, let's use this scale here for the iris diameter. Start large. Back away down. That's 12. And for the other eye there. That's 12 as well. Just need to check the pupillary distance at near. Looking at the tip of the pen, please. for near, 66 for distance, did HVID, 10 millimetres right and left, pupil size 5 millimetres. Okay, I need to spend a few moments now coming a little bit closer with the light, having a little look at your eye health. So if you can start by just looking into the distance. Okay, just look up to the ceiling, look to the left, look to the right, just look down. Just looking straight ahead. Let's take a blink. Into the light, please. Look up again. Look to the right. Up and right. Up and left. Left. Down and left. Straight down. Down and right. Try to hurt again, please. Okay, not too much wrong there. Okay, for the other eye, keep looking into the distance, please. Okay, look to the right. Head into the distance. Closer again there. Look into the light now, please. Look up again.
and uh, okay, up and right, up and left, down and left, down and to the right. Let's try to head again, please. Look into the light. I think there's just a little bit of hard drusen the back of the left eye. Wouldn't worry too much about that. Certainly no signs of any wet macular degeneration there. Okay, I'm just going to show you some lenses looking at the bottom row of letters. Do they look clearer with the lens, without, or about the same? That's with, and that's without. Okay, keep looking at the bottom row. Are the letters clearer with, or without? That's with, without, or about the same? Okay, let's get the next one ready for you. Okay, bottom row clearer with, without. That's with, without, or about the same. Okay, cover the other eye for me now. Okay, and again, is the bottom row clearer with the lens, without, with, without, or the same. And for the second lens, bottom row clearer with, without. It's with, without, without, that's fine. Let's go in between the two again. Bottom clearer with, without, with, With, without, lovely. Okay, just going to finish off the subjective refraction. Right, I need you to keep looking at the letter L at the top. I'm going to show you two lenses. Let me know which is the clearest, or if there's no difference. So that's lens one, two, all the same. Clear with one, two the same. And this time is the owl clearer with one or two. One, two or about the same. Cover the right eye now. Is the owl clearer with one or two. One or two. Or the same. Next up, clear with lens three or four. Three, four, or about the same. Three or four. Lovely. I feel your prescription is increased in the distance. How about a plus? Our 50 diopter sphere, more hyperopic. So we can look at sorting you some distance spectacles to see the television better. With the distance going up, it's going to affect your reading prescription. So I'm going to increase the power of the reading lenses. Okay, just pop your reading glasses on for me, please. Cover the left eye. Going to do something called the Amsler test. Looking at the spot in the centre of the grid, do any of the lines look distorted, bendy, or wavy? Good. Okay, cover the other eye now. Looking at the spot, any distortion to the lines, bendiness, waviness? Missing area. So 
that bit of drusen in the left eye doesn't seem to be causing any problems um, to the macular test there, the Amsler test. Okay, just before we get to picking you some new spectacles, I'm just going to check your eye pressure. It's going to pop a drop of lidocaine into the eyes. It does sting a little bit. It doesn't last too long. Looking up to the ceiling for me. The eyes closed a second. I open the eyes, have a few blinks. I'm just going to set up the test. Okay, we've done Perkins tonometry before. This is the Perkins. It just gently touches the front of the eye. I have a nice clean probe there. I'm just going to rest against the forehead. Now, a few things for you to do. Keep both eyes open. Don't hold your breath. Keep looking at one point into the distance, please. Okay, 20 mil of mercury there. Keep looking straight ahead. Look at the left. Keep looking straight at one point. Okay, we have about 20 right and left there, which is about the same as last year, thank you. Perkins to not true. At 1 pm, right 20, left 20. Just going to have a little look at the corner here since we've done tonometry. Just look straight ahead, please. Take a blink. In the five zones of the corner there. That looks fine, thank you. Okay, so all in all, your eyes are looking healthy. There's just a little bit of wear and tear, the back of the left eye, but it's not troubling the vision. It's not affecting the Amsler test, so we'll monitor that for you. The prescription has increased a little bit, so you're a little bit more hyperopic in the distance. That's going to cause the reading prescription to uh, be a little bit stronger as well. So I'm going to show you some spectacles which we can prescribe for you. Okay, I'm going to suggest this frame for your distance. So this is a metal frame like you've been used to. You've got the bridge there, something you've been used to, metal frame. We'll pop some new pads on, so don't worry about those. These are the dummy lenses, so we have to get the right lenses made into them. So let me pop those on for you and just check the fit. Just look into my eye there and eye there. Right, yep, they should be fine for your distance. Now for your reading glasses, I'm going to recommend a deeper lens so you have a good field of view, left and right. I'm going to try these matte black frames. Okay, so we can adjust the sides with the frame heater when they return. Let me pop those on for you.
Okay, yep, that'll be fine for your reading. £50 each, £100 for the pair, if that's okay. I'll get those ordered for you, and I'll see you again in about 10 days.